Good morning, Belvedere. Mayor Mike here again. Uh, with me again this morning uh, is Jen Jackie, the director, executive director of the YMCA. And she was going to visit with us again today about the child care uh, system that she actually got done and evolved. So we got kiddos that are going to be safe during the day. So, Jen, it's all yeah. yours. So we are providing school age child care to uh, first responders, children, medical professionals, and anyone who's considered essential in the community. Um, we are providing it from 5.30 in the morning to 6 p.m. Um, and we're, we're doing a variety of things. Obviously, we want to make sure that the kids are feeling like they have the connections, that they're normal, and their parents feeling like they, you know, knowing that they're in a safe, structured environment. So we're doing everything from making sure that we're supporting the districts with their distance learning so that there's no um, you know achievement gaps that pop up and then we also are looking at um, you know doing fun activities stem crafts uh, stem crafts arts um, Easter egg hunt is a big one that we're doing this week um, so we just want to be able to support the kids families are worrying about enough things right now so we just want to step in and be able to provide some sort of normalcy to the families during this time so we are um, we have we started care this week and we are continuing on for the long haul so we have had wonderful support with district 100 and 200 um, and the united way local united way has um, graciously uh, stepped up and is going to be providing snacks for the kids because a lot of the kids are there at least 10 hours a day so we uh, we actually have care for 12 and a half hours a day, 5.30 in the morning to 6 p.m. Um, so uh, some of those kiddos get there really early and uh, we just want to make really sure, late. stay really late, but it's fine, it's fun because we hear laughter in the building and it's just a wonderful feeling. So that's um, our care, we do, it's $30 a day, but um, for families who need financial assistance we also accept CCAP so the state funding assistance and DCFS payment and the the state has actually made a very seamless process to get it switched over to us as the provider nice. you know, this is the kind of thing as we draw together as a community to face COVID-19 and we're just it's still early days the next few weeks we'll see a, a mounting rise of probably cases we haven't had one certified yet but that's more about getting test results than anything else so i want to thank you uh, uh, the city council the community thanks you from the bottom of our heart for what you're doing for our kids in the community and uh, as usual you come through on the pinches for us so jen thanks so much if there's anything you need please reach out to us and we'll be there to help you as best we can so thank ha you have a great weekend and a great week next week thank you you bet thanks Jennifer.